Okay, let's have our new worksheet today. The title is Mixtures and Solutions Worksheets. Okay, be ready class. General instructions. First, you need to watch and understand this video. Second, go to your own Google Classroom. Okay, your Google Code Classroom ay pareho lang dati yung sinend ko sa ating FB page or Science FB page. Please visit nyo po yung ating FB page. Next is, you need to copy the questions and write all your answers in the Google Documents where I prepared for your class or for your class. Next, I hope you enjoy this simple activity. Class, do it on time and please avoid laziness. Lastly, if you find some terms or technical terms or yeah technical terms, please do some research class for you to know what is that for or kung anong ibig sabihin ng mga technical terms or technical terms na ginamit dito. Okay? Let's start. Okay. Number 1, worksheet mixtures and solution. Okay? Number one, state with a reason whether each of the following is a homogeneous mixture, solution, or heterogeneous mixture, mechanical mix, mixtures rather. Okay, A, hot dog relish, B, freshly squeezed grapefruit juice, C, vegetable soup, soup, rather, and letter D, granola. Okay, class, instruction na ito, um, kailangan nyo states yung reason kung ano, ang, kung ano tong letter A, kung homogeneous mixture po ba, or heterogeneous mixture. Okay, state nyo ang reason. Ibig sabihin, state nyo, explain nyo kung bakit heterogeneous mixture or kung bakit homogeneous mixtures. Okay? Ulitin ko. Yung number one, letter A, hot dog relish. Num, letter B, freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. And letter C, vegetables soup. And letter D, granola. Number two. Okay, let's move to number three. Two. Number two, give three each example of the following. So, ibig sabihin, tatlong example of the following. Three each example of the following. Okay, for example, letter A. Kailangan sa letter A, pure substance, dapat may tatlo kayong example. Okay? Let Letter B, a solid solution. So, magbigay kayo ng tatlong solid solution. And letter C, magbigay din kayo ng mechanical mix, mixture, rather. Okay? And letter D, a liquid solutions. Tatlo din yan. Dapat na tat, tatlong pure substance, tatlong solid solution, tatlong mechanical mixture, at tatlong liquid solution na example. Okay? Next, number three. Number three, Susan makes the following entry in her notebook. On Friday, we were given a blue liquid in a shallow container. We place it on the window sill over the weekend. On Monday, Rather, on Monday morning, there was no liquid left, but the dish had some solid blue stuff in it. Okay, class. Ang gagawin nyo ay intindihin nyo tong short uh, paragraph 
Pangintindihan nyo, sasagutan nyo ang dalawang tanong. Okay? Ang letter A, was the blue liquid in the dish a heterogeneous mixture, a solution, or a pure substance? Explain your choice. For example, if your answer is heterogeneous, you need to explain. If, if your answer is solution, you need to explain. If your answer is pure substance, pure substance rather, you need to explain. A letter B, letter B class is write a few sentences to explain what happened in the dish. So, gumawa kayo ng sarili niyong uh, explanation based sa naintindihan niyo dito sa paragraph number 3. Okay? Gumawa kayo ng explanation. Okay? Next. Number four. You need to draw diagrams to show draw diagrams to show differences between pure substances and mixtures. So gagawa kayo ng diagram. Okay? And letter B, sorry, this one is letter B, hindi yan A. Letter B, you need to draw diagrams to show the differences between heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures. Okay, yan ang number four. Okay, that's all for today. Kailangan masagot nyo lahat ng questions and then take note class kailangan gawin nyo on time. Okay? Thank you and have a nice day.